Creating nuclear weapons was the biggest mistake of humankind, and you'll agree with me after watching their destructive power in this video. From countries in a race to exhibit their power to be better than each other, here is what we have created in the past years. 1. Tsar Bomba. In the chilling embrace of autumn 1961, the world bore witness to a spectacle of power that reverberates through the corridors of history. The Soviet Union, flexing its might, unleashed the Tsar Bomba, a hydrogen behemoth with an astonishing 50 megaton yield. Picture a device so formidable that its very existence raised ethical questions about the pursuit of scientific knowledge. This colossal creation, housed within a specialized railway carriage with detachable walls and roof, embarked on a journey that would etch its name in infamy. The 295 bomber, entrusted with the monumental task of transporting the Tsar Bomba, bore a feeble shield, a protective coating, as a meager defense against the cataclysmic cargo it carried. A parachute-guided descent preceded the bomb's impact, a moment where time seemed suspended before the earth-shattering detonation. The ensuing explosion unfolded as a horrifying yet mesmerizing display. A mushroom cloud soaring to a staggering 60 kilometers, visible up to 1,000 kilometers away. While undeniably a testament to human scientific prowess, this event remains an indelible reminder of the moral and ethical boundaries traversed during the tense years of the Cold War. 2. Wahoo Nuclear Blast As part of the extensive Operation Hardtack series on May 16, 1958, at Eniwetok Atoll, the Wahoo operation sought to explore the repercussions of underwater nuclear explosions, specifically on naval vessels and submarine warfare. Executed at a depth of 150 meters, the bomb yielded approximately 9 kilotons, creating a substantial dome of water and spray. Wahoo's detonation yielded crucial data on underwater shockwaves and their potential impact on submarines and surface ships, playing an integral role in shaping Cold War naval strategies, particularly in anti-submarine warfare. 3. Operation Crossroads Operation Crossroads marked a pivotal point in the nuclear history, encompassing two distinctive trials, Abel and Baker. The former, an airburst experiment, involved the detonation of a bomb suspended at an altitude of 520 feet, while the latter, an underwater endeavor, featured the detonation of the infamous Helen of Bikini bomb about 90 feet beneath the ocean's surface. Executed by the United States on July 1 and 25, 1946, at the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands, these tests were planned to study the impact of nuclear weapons and showcase their potency on the global stage. The ABLE test brought devastation upon target ships, while the Baker test etched an indelible mark in history. Its subaqueous explosion created a colossal water column that filled the target vessels with radioactive water. The indelible imagery of the mushroom cloud emerging from the sea became a symbol of nuclear might. Only nine of the surviving Baker target ships underwent successful decontamination and were subsequently divested for scrap. The remainder, despite earnest decontamination endeavors, succumbed to the depths of the ocean after efforts proved futile. 4. Joe 17. On September 21, 1955, the Soviet Union sought military advancement, conducting the Joe 17 test at Chiornaya Guba, Novaya Zemlya to assess the RDS-9 nuclear warhead for the T-5 nuclear torpedo. This groundbreaking test, yielding about 3.5 kilotons, marked a pivotal moment in naval warfare. Joe 17 validated nuclear-armed torpedoes, altering naval strategic paradigms and showcasing the USSR's nuclear capabilities. It contributed significantly to understanding underwater nuclear explosions, including potential tsunami generation and marine life impact. While propelling nuclear physics and engineering, Joe 17 led to environmental contamination, with long-term health effects like increased cancer rates and genetic mutations for the local population. This scientific achievement bore both the promise of progress and the weight of unintended repercussions. 5. Castle Romeo. Romeo was a pivotal participant in the Operation Castle series, seeking to assess high-yield thermonuclear devices and advance hydrogen bomb technology. Executed on March 27, 1954, at the Bikini Atoll, Marshall Islands, the Romeo test initiated with a blinding flash, succeeded by a monumental rising cloud that gracefully billowed into the sky. 
Its vast size and scale vividly showcased the immense power of hydrogen bombs. Boasting an impressive yield of approximately 11 megatons, this test furnished critical data on the design and efficiency of thermonuclear weapons, especially contributing to the development of deployable warheads for strategic purposes. Moreover, the test played a significant role in global discussions on nuclear testing, with concerns raised about environmental and health effects due to the fallout from such large-scale detonations. 6. Operation Ivy Mike Operation Ivy Mike was a groundbreaking test, conducted on November 1, 1952. It aimed to validate the first full-scale thermonuclear device, introducing a revolutionary design utilizing liquid deuterium and marking a pivotal leap in nuclear weapons technology. The Mike test unfolded with a dazzling white flash, swiftly evolving into a colossal, churning mushroom cloud soaring over 100,000 feet. This test not only marked the inaugural successful demonstration of a hydrogen bomb but also shattered previous records with an impressive yield of 10.4 megatons, eclipsing the power of any preceding nuclear device. The resultant devastation obliterated Eljuglad, the test island. This confirmation of the feasibility of hydrogen bombs ushered in a new era in the arms race, pivoting towards the development of more potent and efficient thermonuclear devices. 7. Soviet RDS-6S. On August 12, 1953, the Soviet Union proudly unveiled its strides in advancing hydrogen bomb technology through RDS-6S, also known as JOEY-4. Executed at the Semipalatinsk test site in Kazakhstan, this demonstration showcased a unique approach to thermonuclear design, differing from U.S. models. Employing the innovative Sloika, or layer cake, design, it represented a distinctive layering concept. Despite its size being smaller than subsequent thermonuclear tests, the RDS-6S detonation delivered a vibrant flash and a potent shockwave, accompanied by a significant mushroom cloud. This visual spectacle unmistakably marked the Soviet Union's entry into the thermonuclear age. With an approximate yield of 400 kilotons, the RDS-6S, while not as powerful as American tests, stood as a monumental achievement for the Soviet nuclear program, exemplifying a unique approach to thermonuclear design in contrast to U.S. models. Conclusion Nuclear weapons are widely considered to be the most destructive weapons ever developed by humans and if used by the wrong people can wipe out entire civilizations. Contrary to that, it can make or break the face of Earth. Maybe it can make things better. In my opinion it all comes down to us, how we use this ultimate power. What do you think? Comment down below.